This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Converses are a classic, having been around for over a century and even became the first official American basketball sneaker. A ton of celebrities have rocked these and it's... Ahsoka's going crazy, man. Ahsoka, I'm filming a video. A ton of celebrities have rocked these. It's a part of pop culture. Elvis Presley wore it, Sylvester Stallone wore it, and even Jackie Chan in Police Story 1. You see Tony Jaa rocking it in The Protector as well, and it still looks great no matter the era. Because when you just take a look at it, it instantly screams classic silhouette. And today, I'm gonna show you how to rock these. At least how I would do it, you can do whatever you want. Fashion is subjective, I always gotta say that, so let's check it out. But before we get into the fits, I do have a few points you guys might want to keep in mind when styling these sneakers. I just always treat these like Vans. They are slim, have a similar color blocking, and both give off that same counterculture energy associated with the 60s to 80s era. And when it comes to Vans, their most popular silhouette is obviously a low top. The low top old schools, Converse's, their most popular silhouette is the high tops. So just keep that in mind, there are low top versions as well, but I personally prefer the high tops. So if you do get the high tops, I really suggest just showing off that silhouette, even the crew socks if you want. Because people have this thing when it comes to high top sneakers. Let's just say the Jordan 1s and the SB Dunks. They want you to show off that whole silhouette, but they don't want you to show off the crew socks. It's kind of weird. And those same people don't want you to cover the silhouettes of the sneakers either. So you really only have one way to wear it according to what people prefer. But these, these are a sneaker I think looks best when the whole silhouette and your crew socks are shown off. Because the top of the kicks when tied down is almost as thin as your socks. So the transition between your socks and sneakers is seamless. And a transition from a relaxed fitting pants to a thin platform on your feet is always my preference rather than a smooth taper all the way down to thin sneakers. I just like that clear cut transition from a wide pants to your thin socks and the sneakers. I understand that's not going to be everyone's preference, but that's just what I like to do. So let's show you guys some fits from a wider range of styles from different seasons with the Converse All-Star Chuck Taylor 70s. So for this first fit, anyone can rock it. Grab the Chucks and a pair of denim, a tank top and a jacket. Throw it all together with some jewelry, and that is a simple yet clean fit. So here's what I got. I've got on this Acne Studios corduroy overshirt. It is a bit more relaxed fitting, so that's something I keep in mind. I really dig that tan color, and because the top is more relaxed fitting, I try to proportion it properly with a more relaxed fitting denim from Uniqlo. Unfortunately, they don't sell these specific pairs anymore. I got them for only 20 bucks at the time, but either way, don't sleep on Uniqlo denim. Cuff those joints, throw on a beanie and jewelry. My goodness one of my go-to spring fits. And it doesn't matter what your preferences are when it comes to the fit. You like skinny denim? Why not? Feel free to throw those on. You like straight cut relaxed fitting pants? No problem. I originally wore these with Vans, but like I said, they're interchangeable, so swap them out for the Converse's, and it's just as good. This works for any of the jackets or overshirts that you have. If it's spring, like as of the recording of this video, go for overshirts, which are lighter and more breathable instead of thick jackets, but those work as well. Give it a shot. Now next up is a grunge budget Rick inspired fit. Throw on some black cargo pants of your choice that's kind of distressed and more worn in. These ones right here are the Richie Lee Collection 1.0 cargos. Shout out to the homies in the PNW. Compliments the Converse as well, obviously, as the Ramones. They're pretty much like Converse's. I know the Rick heads are probably gonna roast me, but we can all agree on that. They have a similar look. And yes, keep the fit all black. Throw on an extended black overshirt as well. And I'm telling you, it's discount Rick. If it's too hot, just make sure you're rocking a black tank top underneath that isn't too thin in the collar area and you're good for summer. Rick Light. But get creative with this. Switch it up for different jackets, bombers, leather jackets. Switch up the way pieces fit. More drapey, more tight fitting. Maybe throw in some jewelry in there and this fits still just as simple. And that's the thing with Converse's. You want to keep your fit simple. Don't go too crazy with it. Now let's come up with a simple street fit that doesn't involve black pants like the other two fits. Let's throw on these purple carpenter pants that I got from Levi's for only 30 bucks. I cuff them to reveal more of the chucks. Then I grabbed this oversized cream shirt from Oray NYC, and I thought, why not roll the sleeves as well? Great way to switch up the look of a top. And I picked up my Carhartt hat because I didn't feel like doing my hair. The usual accessories, any sling bag from a Grumichi, just to add some extra flair to the fits. Easy on the eyes, wasn't that hard to put together, and it still looks good. Now let's try a minimal fit for all y'all that watch me at Dia Vela, drink some coffee, and swears by your morning routine. Grab yourself a cap or a beanie. I get mine from Amazon, it's about eight to 15 bucks. 
I'll leave a link in the description. And get the oversized airism tees from Uniqlo. I'm telling you, and I will tell you every single time to the day I die that you guys gotta pick up these shirts because they're my favorite shirts. And they're only 15 bucks. The fit is oversized, has a shorter hem, so shorter dudes can rock an oversized shirt a lot easier without the hem going past your boys down there. Plus it's breathable for the hot, humid summer that's about to come up. I wore it with these cropped trousers that I got from Olive Clothing. It's sleek and clean and is a direct contrast to the white shirt. So I'm just focusing on contrasting color blocking for this fit. You know, I'm just black and white, letting those contrast off of each other. Because to me, I think a white t-shirt's a little bit hard to wear. I'll, I'll be honest. Most of you guys probably don't think that i don't know it's just me but the way i think of it i like to contrast the white t-shirt since it takes so much of your real estate with a lot of black so i'm rocking black headwear black pants black sneakers black crew socks and i do feel that the fit does need a tote bag so i got my tote bag from vans and yeah it's super minimal you can go shopping with this fit you can go on a date with this fit super clean and the fit that took the least amount of effort i also can't forget about my boys who lift or train converses are worn by a lot of power lifters people who deadlift a lot or people who work out in general after all these sneakers were made for athletes first official basketball sneaker they're meant to be worn at the gym because these will look good in your athleisure fits they also don't have too much technology to where it's too plush like boost or react technology you get a lot of floor feel with these so it helps with your lifts but also rocky training these kicks i feel these are perfect if you like hitting the bag like i said keep it simple you could also throw on some sweats and a hoodie and it looks just as good and those are just a few fits i like to rock converses with there's gonna be plenty more fits for sure you should have seen how i wore converses back then a few years ago pretty cringe i wish i had a video like this back then where it shows a variety of styles because youtube was a little different back then ultra boost just came out so the hype for those were insane i wish i had some guidance just like i wish i had some guidance when it came to creating youtube videos making a career off of social media you should also see my first few videos very cringe that is why i want to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video skillshare skillshare is an online learning community where millions of creative curious and inspired individuals come together to learn something new. I've been using Skillshare way before they even sponsored my channel. Spring is in the air right now. I got that type of good energy, so I wanna learn something new. And so when I hopped on Skillshare, I actually saw one of my favorite creators create his own class. Marquez Brownlee, I'm sure you guys know who he is. His class is all about YouTube success. Everything that goes into creating content, creating YouTube videos. This is something I wish I had when I first started off. You guys saw me, I was creating videos just like a bunch of other YouTubers that I looked up to. And I just wish this came out during that time. I would have tackled YouTube a lot better. So if you guys are looking at creating YouTube videos and everything that goes on behind the scenes, definitely check out Marquez's class. I've learned a lot from just watching his class, even though I am a full-time YouTuber. And there is no ads. There are plenty of classes from business, videography, graphic design, those are classes you guys may like. And since you guys watch my channel, the first 1,000 of you guys that click that link in the description are going to get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. And afterwards, it is less than $10 a month on an annual membership. That is way cheaper than alternative forms of learning. I want my money back, UNM. All you gotta do is click that link in the description, learn something new, springs in the air, it is beautiful now. And thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. All right, y'all, hope you guys found this video helpful or insightful. Give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Comment down, uh, comment down Bruce Lee. If you guys made it this far, comment Bruce Lee just so I know you're cool, you guys watched the whole video. Don't forget to subscribe, really appreciate y'all, deuces.